What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Right across the street, we have none other than the world famous Cholesterol Palace. At least that's what they call it in Colombia, here in the Rio Negro area, but this is San Antonio de Pereira. And they call it El Palacio del Colesterol because all the greasy and, uh, food that they sell there is just greasy. Let's go check it out for a moment. And then we're gonna walk around the park. Mikey's here for the first time. We're gonna see what we got. So look, they got all kinds of greasy fried food. They got chorizos. Buenas, apenas viendo que hay aquí. Chunturia, chorizos, uh, greasy, arepas, uh, cheese arepas, a lot of cheese, and butifarras, chuzos, shish kebabs, uh, morcilla. Buche. Buche is what? What is buche? Que es buche? That's buche right there. Corazón. Heart. All kinds of crazy things. Uh, uh, a lung. Lung. Ears. Big ears. All kinds of things. That's why they call it this area. All right. Thanks. Gracias. Good evening. Take care. Hasta luego. So all of these people here come and they're just waiting to order all these things and more of it. Uh, Creole potatoes and all the same. Hey, what's up? How you doing? <laughs> People are happy to say hi. Hi, how are you? How you doing? Good? There you go. Deem, football club. He's a Medellin fan, big time. Deem. All right, the big fan. Excellent. Hi, how you doing? New York Yankees, New York Yankees, baseball. The Yankee cap. Los Yankees. The Yankees, New York Yankees. And Ben Paisa, very Paisa, she's saying, nice. Very happy people here. Very happy, very happy. All right, bye-bye. Let's say what? Ah, okay, gracias. Muchas bendiciones también. Thanks. This is for YouTube. Esto es para YouTube. All right, take care. Bye-bye. They're happy people here. Shiny, happy people, and they got more stuff here. More arepas de choclo and everything. All kinds of greasy food, as you see. They're cooking them, making them. So this is Cholesterol Street, Cholesterol Palace. That's what they call it. And Bendito Guajabo, like Holy Hangover. That's the name of that uh, little place there where they sell liquor. Holy Hangover. And the hangover from the Greece is also something you're going to be hit on, hard on. And these are the little inner city buses here. And they got all kinds of places here where they sell meat, food, the best cooking food and whatever and everything in general so a lot of people from out just hit that darn thing out i just hit that thing i, I kicked it i kicked it i kicked it with my right foot the one that shouldn't be kicking now it's a ah oh, hurt well anyhow this is the little chapel here from san antonio pereira and people from medellin envigado sabaneta whatever down in the valley of aburra love to come up to this valley which is the San Nicholas Valley and they love to come to this place on the weekends even today Monday which is a holiday and you got all kinds of places look at that thing over there I'm using my smartphone today for this video because it just makes life simpler at this moment for later on to edit it and just all one shot with pause 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 and people love coming up from Medellin and just checking it out so basically today is the end of the Christmas season the holiday season and some people were even getting selfies there with the two angels blowing their trumpets there. And today's January, excuse me, January 9th, Monday, January 9th, 2023. And this video ain't coming out this week, but it'll come out. I don't know when, it doesn't really matter. You get to see it all. Look how beautiful the chapel looks inside here. I mean, this is Rio Negro, but they don't consider themselves part of Rio Negro, even though legally they are. They're in mass right now, mass. What's the name of this chapel? This is uh, Jose Joaquin. Oh, what's the name of this chapel? Let me see. I can't even read it. In 1775, 1775, this reconstruction of the Temple of San Antonio de Pereira that was began in 1725 was finished. Wow, and it had a new colonial style with adobes and whatever ornamentation. 
There we go. That's what it's called. Nice little doggy there. Doggy, doggy, Lou, the dog. And the other dog here. Oh, I love dogs. So they got these coffee shops if you guys want to check it out. Two sandwiches, two cappuccinos, and two ju or two juices for 25,000 pesos. That's like $6. Two sandwiches and two cappuccinos or two juices. And beautiful people all over the place. And they got another coffee shop here, Cafeteria Central. And then you can sit out on the street here and enjoy a cup of coffee, some music, and whatnot. And San Antonio is famous for its uh, desserts. This is one place, but this is not the famous place where you buy desserts. Posters are desserts. But this is San Antonio, San Antonio de Pereira. And this is what the main strip people come here to enjoy. Let's go here into the park area, but they got the Vaginatos playing over there. So we got this other restaurant here. Uh, I've never been to this restaurant, but I've been to the other one over here. A restaurant I've eaten in before is called El Patio, the patio. That's a good restaurant there. I've never been on the second floor, but I've been on the first uh, last year, the year before, I mean, before I went out to, to Mexico back in 2021. It was good, it was good. Uh, look at that classic. It's a Dodge Coronet. We're walking through one of the neighborhoods here, about two blocks, three blocks away from that little park. Just showing you guys some of the little houses, some of the architecture around here. Mixed in old with the new. Guys, San Antonio Pereira here, which is part of Rio Negro, is super safe. You can leave your car parked out here. You don't have to worry about it getting stolen like if you're in Medellin. You can't really go doing that because something will get stolen or your whole car will get stolen. And you gotta have to have like parking garages in Medellin or Envigado or even Sabaneta, you don't really, uh, it's not an idea to leave them parked out on the street at night overnight. But here, not a problem. I mean, I guess the occasional almost never car gets stolen here, but really, never heard of it. Any of you interested in buying a, a piece of land here, they're selling lots of land at about 500 square meters. And they start at 385 million pesos, and there you got the contact number. And it's on San Antonio Campestre, so you can build your house on it. So these are some of the nice little houses here. And it's not a gated community. Not a gated community. Look at these two-level houses here. And everything with their own little garage and the front gate. And they're super safe. Look, like if you're a nice little neighborhood. I remember like those uh, places in California in the late 80s. Early 90s, they were building out there in, in Southern Cal. I mean, I'm smiling on my face because I'm enjoying all of this and bringing it to you. And today on the smartphone, not the GoPro, just so the editing is just simple as one, two, three. Baby, can't you see? And look, this is the whole area here. And it's only three blocks away from that park we just came from and we're going back towards. It's all a nice area quiet neighborhood or if you prefer having uh, an apartment right there and they're pretty new I think built up in the last year Portal de Caney del Caney I mean what you're seeing speaks for itself and this is a Monday evening on a public holiday bank holiday and people can leave their vehicles out on the street too I mean there's a small percentage, a really minute percentage, that your car will get stolen or something will get broken into, but that's if you're leaving things visible. But look, it's all so nice. Let's go back to the main strip. See, that's the big mall, food court mall. They built about a year ago or less, guys. And they got all kinds of... Uh, Restaurants in there, I remember, Mexican, uh, Colombian, of course, I think Italian, and then you got other restaurants right here, Arepa restaurant, and all of that good stuff, it, it, Italian restaurant right there, that's an Italian restaurant right there, Italian food, Sparo Sapori d'Italia, established two years ago in 2021, 
So they got all kinds of paella restaurants, Spanish food from Spain. Oh, they got Indian or Middle Eastern food, Zatar over there. They got all kinds of things, pizza. This one's called La Placita de San Antonio, this place. Yeah. They got more eateries, all kinds of places to choose from. This place is famous for its desserts, in case you guys come. You see all the desserts here? It's a good place to hang out. Look how it looks. It's so cool. All the memorabilia and everything. It's pretty cool. I hear you. So we're now here. That's another restaurant here where they got arepas de chocolo. All kinds of things, buñuelos. You know, we hear people listening to rancheras and Colombian music. So this is always here every weekend with all these stands, guys. Food and everything, merengón, whatever. Things to buy. And that place has been here since I moved to Colombia back in 95. And has been here since 98. 1998, Dulce, Dulce Contigo. Very famous for his desserts. And if you want to listen to Colombian music, vaginatas, everything, right over there. People love these desserts. Look at that. Bacos de coco, all kinds. Baileys, Nutella, macadamia, red fruit, etc. Come here and get some good dessert. So now we're going in here where people come and they're selling all kinds of things. And I know Witty Travels, Katy and Will, you would love to be in this little market here in San Antonio Pereira in Rio Negro. If you do come to Medellin, to visit it in, down the road. This is one place where you guys will love to make a video because you'll be, Kati will be looking at all these accessories and everything and then we'll probably be looking for a refrigerator magnet and everything or a, a flag as well, a little patch and plenty of things. So a shout out to the YouTuber couple, Witty Travels, W-I-T-Y Travels. Check them out on YouTube guys somewhere in Europe right now. Poland, I know, is the last place they were. And there goes the church, right over there. And people, this is usually more crowded on the weekend, but today's the end of the Christmas holiday season, the holiday season here. People are still wearing the holiday stuff. But tomorrow, January 10th, it's all over. Yeah, you know, it's all good, it's all good. <laughs> and they got some big cheesy arepas. Those are arepas de queso? De queso yeah. Okay, those are really cheesy arepas. Okay, gracias. ¿Cómo las venden? Nueve, nine thousand pesos, less than two dollars. Okay, bien. Those look good. I've never seen them like that. Muchas gracias. Feliz noche. I mean, you got a lot of uh, sweets here, a lot of delicacies, sweets, all kinds of sweets if you want to come and buy some sweets here. Colombian style sweets, all of them. Here's another sweet thing here where they sell rico merengón and other stuff here like stuffed figs with milk, caramel, arequipe, and the little coquitas as well. Ojuelas, big, gigantic ojuelas. Hi, how are you? And all kinds of other Colombian uh, desserts here, like the little guava paste with caramel in it. Thanks. Oh, even with a little card to a take home, paisa. a little chiva paisa and all that. Thanks. Wow, nice. Cool. How are you? Good? Good evening. How are you? This is for YouTube. All right. And the traditional ojuelas. They're big. They're gigantic. Like you see them right there, traditional ojuelas. Very far, hard to find. Buenas noches. How are you? And butifarras and then the gazebo I want to see over here. And more of the fried food. Arepa, papa rellena. And here's the gazebo before the music kills it. But it's not in the center of town like in Mexico. There goes the gazebo. So here's the Rio Negro sign, guys. There it goes. Okay, guys. So I'm going to wrap this up now. And this is all the way from San Antonio Pereira. People there are very happy and everything. Hi, how are you? Hello, how you doing, kid? 
What's up? All right, people are very happy, so let's let's uh, wrap it up here, wrapping up Christmas. This is the last video of the Christmas season for me, but you'll see it sometime later on in the month. Batter up. What's next? <laughs>